See Art Gallery. Hi, Dustin. Uh, hi. How's it going? Great. All right, we're going to talk about art. And I'm missing the cheese and wine, but that's okay. All right, and I've picked one to start with, and it's this temporary tattoo, Bitcoin Life. What do you think of that temporary tattoo, Dustin? I like it. I have to question I have to question it. Okay. I've stared at these things. Like like I I I made a website. I put all these things on the website. And and lots of people comment on things and I have to delete things and I have to add new things. So, I've had to stare at all these things for hours. And they're temporary tattoos. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's – yeah, definitely. The whole point of a tattoo normally is that it's permanent unless you get whatever it lasered out or you can cover it up. But it's pretty damn permanent normally. Right. Do you have any tattoos? No, I don't have any tattoos. I've got a lot of scars from stuff that – I won't go into all that. But uh, I kind of like those more than tattoos. I didn't scar on, my, on purpose. They're from things that happened to me. In when you life. when you see tattoos, what kind of what kind of tattoos do you, when you see tattoos do you like to see? Um, yeah, minimal ones. Not okay. Too crazy. And I don't like this whole. I like that people have really cool tattoos now, and it's really in fashion, and some of them are really nice. But this t kind of arm tattoo is not one that I like to see. I think it's usually this kind of. You know, trying to be a tough guy or a tough woman kind of thing. If, if you were at a convention and you met someone, a, a man, you met a man or a girl and, and, or a kid, and you saw that they had a tattoo on uh, and it was a Bitcoin tattoo and, and you saw that it was a temporary tattoo, how would you feel about their commitment to Bitcoin? I don't know if it would – I know where you're going with that because it's not a permanent one. But on the other hand, maybe they have a good commitment, maybe not. For me, it's about – temporary tattoos are fun, and I think we're missing that sometimes in the space. You know, We've got financial stuff that's important. We've got security, privacy. That's all really important. We're, we're talking a lot about – you know, currency debt-based systems versus, you know, crypto, etc. That's all very important, but we're missing some of the art and some of the fun aspect that also is really important. And is also uh, utility, non-utility in it, in upon itself. So, if I met someone at a convention with a temporary tattoo like this, I would probably hang out with them because in that context, it totally breaks the whole convention thing where everyone has suits and ties and everyone is probably – most of the people are probably um, – or a good bit of them are kind of like from the investor side and that would – totally wouldn't fit there. And I think in that context, it's really good. Okay. You That's scroll, my opinion though. Scroll to, the, scroll to the other one. The other one? Sure. The honey badger or the other one? The, the, the honey badger. That's the next one. That's, I mean that's I the like famous that. honey badger. I like that one better. The honey badger. I mean, what do you think about the honey badger? I mean, so it, well, it doesn't make a good tattoo. Is it important enough? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have it. No, that's why I ask myself about tattoos. Do I want this on my body for the rest of my life? See, Most this is why. Then this is great because this is a temporary tattoo. Exactly. So you wouldn't get the honey badger tattooed permanently on your body. No, I would. And if if you that's met true. someone at a convention who had the honey badger. Tattooed permanently on the body. What would you think of them then? I don't know, but I would think about it. I don't know. It could be that they just got really drunk one night and got a tattoo, and they're a risk taker, or they're really committed to Bitcoin. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I would think. I'd have to. You've probably thought about it more. What would you well, think of them? Well, I, I, because I thought about it more, I think that that it's just shown that there's more to think about. 
Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't necessarily say my conclusions are right. Art is so subjective, especially to people, that you, right. you can't usually tell what a person's reaction to a piece of art is or, or what causes it. You can only read what the art itself is and, and then try to gauge that mm -hmm. and then try to gauge society, right? Mm -hmm. and so here we have the other one, you know, on the chest. That's my favorite. <laughs> That's a great one, yeah. I thought that was real. That was circulating. All of these were circulating the Internet for months. Um, under the pretense of, of being real tattoos that people were showing around to show how crazy and cultish the Bitcoiners were. That's where I encountered these images first because I have I get everything that every image that has the word Bitcoin in it I winds up in my feed and then these started winding up in my feed. I thought they were real because I didn't understand that they were a, a product until I actually followed through the image search, right? Right. So you can get these at btctrinkets.com, right? Yeah, that's a great site. You should you should show how much stuff is on that site. They have a lot of uh, some nice stuff, uh, especially if you see like not just the the, the temporary tattoos, but some of the larger stuff, like their higher end. It's 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 nice. Money clips, cufflinks, tie pins. Yeah, they and have cool stuff. They rotated this also since I like first visited them about a year ago. Mm -hmm. They rotated like stock like twice, I think. Yeah, well, I've met someone with a pin, and it was a real nice one. And I said, "Where did you get it?" And he said, "BTC Trinkets," and that was last year in in October or something. So, do you have a pin? Around, yet? As as far as crypto time, they've been around for a little while. Do you have a pin yet? I have a pin. I have the one uh, "Free the World, Free Free the Markets, Free the World." Do you know that one? Oh, uh, I wonder if I've, I, I maybe. I've, We'd have I've gotten go some of them in the gallery, yeah. but. Mm -hmm. They have them at Bitcoin, not bombs, I think, and I got it from a guy that's selling them in Germany. I don't know, oh, if, he, okay. I don't know if he got them from Bitcoin, not bombs or not, but uh, yeah, I've got that one. And I like it. It's it's brass. It looks nice. It's not just like a a little pin, um, these little, it's, it's a real, has a little bit of weight to it, so I like that. Well, let's, let's let before we go any further, we should talk about the B itself. Because okay. a lot of this, whatever, Tell us about we're, gonna, the Tell us whatever about. we're gonna talk about is gonna wind up dodging the elephant in the room. You realize? Okay. Like because so, when we look at even the pins, like would you wear the B as a pin, just the B, the orange B, as a pin, if you're like you're gonna go do this interview? Somebody asks you to come do this interview at a news station and, and they're asking you as a Bitcoin media guy to come do this interview and you're going to dress up nice like you are right now, for example, but you want to show your Bitcoin spirit, would you wear a little B Bitcoin pen, you know? I'm not 100% sure. It depends. I mean, we're looking at Bitcoin trinkets right now and they've got a lot of nice stuff. They have the B pen. They have the B pen. I That's might. I have. I would think about it, but I'm not sure. It's an interesting question. It's, they wear the flag. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It reminds me of after 9-11, all the politicians all of a sudden got those flag pins. You know? They still do. They still wear them. Yeah, they still do. But it started after then. Before then, nobody had them. You know? It was considered a bad taste, actually. Before? Yeah. Right. Because that's probably because that's what I learned too. Because I was in the Cub Scouts, and you have to honor the flag and all that kind of stuff, and you can only do certain things with the flag. And and this is why why we have to talk about the B, because the B is the flag. Mm hmm Right. Right. If if you were in the the Bitcoin Scouts, right. Mm hmm And and they wait pulled out a big old orange flag, with the B on it, and they raised it. You've seen that picture, right? The Bitcoin flag? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's made in Europe. It's a really, really nice product, by the way, from, from what I've seen in the reviews about it. It's really nice. I, I think I'm going to get one. But if they raise the Bitcoin flag, would you salute? Right? That's the ultimate question. Because the B is the whole package, right? Yeah, well, that's something to think about. I mean, I wouldn't salute... Seriously, I mean, I would think it's funny that it's mimicking 
how we how people salute the American flag or other flags, but I wouldn't salute seriously because because well but how would, in a sarcastic way I wouldn't I would salute I would think it's hilarious if but, Bitcoin's successful and it it overcomes the the normal financial um, instruments right mm -hmm. uh, and it over disrupts the total world economy and, and we have like a a total change in in sociological dynamics of how value is exchanged among humans that 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 would be worth saluting. We've saluted less. Okay. Right, but it just depends on how you salute it. If you salute it in a flag ritual, or if you salute it by... Well, well, okay, here's a better question. Do you salute the flag now? Because I was talking in the sense when you're in Cub Scouts and you're learning about being patriotic, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. Probably the last time I did was when I had to go to school, and you're forced to pledge allegiance to the flag. Otherwise, you get sent to detention. It probably then, was the last time I did it. Then this is great. Let, now let's talk about the B, because the B is a social contract. It represents a social contract that, that anyone who has Bitcoin is signed, right? Mm -hmm. and, and the social contract is just the same social contract that you form with the government in certain ways right okay and so the B really does represent uh, some sort of internet statehood where you're claiming that the you know the internet is a state which could make its own money right dispense goods and services act as an intermediary that parts correct right because I hear I I'm I'm just drawing mostly on what you guys talk about, right? Well, that's the show well, all the time. I, well, that's that's all true. It's just, but the B doesn't represent a state with a monopoly of violence that can you know roll down the street with an M1A1 tank if it wants. That's a great picture, by the way, the one you chose. Yeah, because what we were talking about, I was searching for a picture that you know represents what you were talking about, and yeah, here we've got the Pac-Man, you know, and it's also funny that they shows in this picture, I don't know if it was by chance, but the first currency that the Bitcoin eats up is the dollar. <laughs> when, when when you see um, most of the stuff, I would say zero of, of, of the artist's intent is by chance. Uh, most of the people who are doing this are already very experienced artists, um, and, and they, they, they think a lot. Right. about what they're doing like but way more they, way more than than the thought that we as co consumers of the art give the piece mm -hmm. well that kind of makes sense a little bit I mean okay they said okay dollar first okay well we know what problems a dollar has and then euro but I mean I'm in the euro zone and the euro isn't as stable as people think you know it's just <laughs> it sounds good but it's but it's it's horribly it's not very stable actually we've got Let's Interest rate in the euro zone. The, in, the in, euro is so strong, they have to do experiments with negative interest rates right now. So let's just put it that way. And then you've got yeah. the yen, and you've got the pound. And the ironic thing about the yen and the pound is they're both from island nations. So they're it's a different dynamic, I think, if you're an island somehow. It might Look, sound yeah. weird, but I think it is. Let, let, let's give the uh, artist the credit here. Can mm -hmm. you follow through on the links? just? To, yes, let's to go down it. to the link. You're right. Totally. So let's figure out who did this. So if uh, I just click it, I'll go to the uh, artist, right? Uh, actually, I think you'll go to the Oh, no, wait. Page. Bluma Berlin. So maybe I can meet this person if they're in Berlin. Hi, Bluma Berlin, if you're watching. Keep we've going got, down. We've got to, uh, we can tweet out the video to whoever Bluma Berlin is. But, um, yeah, it's a really good one. I like the Pac-Man. It's simple. Down, scroll down. Mm -hmm. There's a link. There should be a link. Well, they got change tip a few times. At least oh, that's that. good. Here's five yeah. bucks. They got a, They got. They got. Um, change tip five bucks. So that's cool. Um, but I'll, we'll, we'll try to get. We'll try to get some links in the um in the bottom of the YouTube people that are watching. I'm gonna to try to link to all of the all the artists that um, we show on the video, okay? 
Okay, great. The next one I want to talk about is a little is a current topic, and it's the feminist Barbie. And I've, unfortunately, I don't have an original one ready of the non-feminist Barbie. But uh, yeah, someone made one about Bitcoin. Guys, let me deploy this botnet, and I'll go to lunch with you. It's almost 6 p.m. in Moscow, and our customer won't release my Bitcoins if it's not up and running today. So, Dustin, can you tell us what the history is behind this uh, Hacker Barbie? The Hacker Barbie, um, I, w I would say anyone should just reference, um, should, should just type that in, Hacker Barbie, and they'll, they'll Google it, and they'll find out. The story behind the, the, the Hacker Barbie is a, a horrible little publishing scandal, I guess, where they had inept writers of some sort writing um, this sort of uh, garbage that girls were consuming that, that had bad descriptions of a girl taking advantage of boys to get them to write her computer code or some such nonsense, and then the the remakes on the internet because it went viral all of a sudden, right? I, th I think most of our audience is probably in tune with the news. This was very yeah. popular on Reddit. Right, and here's a link to Reddit, too. Yeah, so yeah. Like, all of, everything should have a link. Like, like I messed up on one page. I apologize for that. I always try to provide a source link because I think that's what's really important here mm -hmm. is that original source link because when other people come in, it, they want to know where this originated. That's why they're here mm -hmm. at my site. So I always try to provide a source. Yeah, the... Why did this intrigue you? That's interesting. This was very popular on the well, Twitter. I didn't know there was a... Well, some... <laughs> Well, so I didn't know there was a Bitcoin one. I knew there were several hacker ones, you know. I just oh sure, there's a Bitcoin all, variation on everything. Just a, it's just a spin on the, on the one that is based about hacking and not necessarily about bitcoins. And it's a re real recent, current one. I just wanted to go over something like that too. And um, it's also one that's using copyrighted material. And I like artwork that is plagiar that uses plagiarism or I don't know what you want to call it, but puts things in different contexts like that. I enjoy stuff like that also. So I wanted to include something like that. I think this shows how tuned in the audience of Bitcoin is into the day to day proceedings and scandals of the news. Mm hmm And this was extremely popular on the day that it came out. And as I remember it, uh, the new it was it was like day two of the the hacker Barbie scandal breaking, and it was clear to me that everyone in the R Bitcoin is uh, very in touch with the news cycle, the current news cycle, right? Right. And, and they almost feed off of it, right? For for mm -hmm. for their sustenance of 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 comedy and parody every day, mm -hmm. right? That they need to fulfill a need here, and the news cycle forgives them this, this level of scandal and material, right? To feed their hunger to justify Bitcoin, right? Because that's why Satoshi built Bitcoin in the first place, was to f provide, fulfill his own need, his own hunger, right? Yeah, it's true. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next one is... Surprise. Okay, it says Around Moscow by Elena. I can't pronounce her last name. I don't want to destroy it. But the reason um, this is some graffiti around Moscow, and there is a link to where it came from. And I don't know. I think it's. I like it. It's nice and colorful. I think the camel might be a reference to the Silk Road. And I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with the mountain right there. If that, it look, you know, it's night and day, and there's a some kind of thing on a bicycle. It looks like. I don't know. Have you analyzed this one, Dustin? Well, Moscow, first of all. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Russia. Yeah. Bitcoin in Russia. <laughs> yeah, it's illegal. Uh, it and it's and it's the Silk Road camel, absolutely. Uh, uh, the Silk Road, the green camel, it's it's synonymous. That for anyone who's not this, who anyone possibly doesn't know, that the Silk Road is the symbol that the Silk Road creator, Dread Pirate Roberts, 
created for his logo for the site, and so the green camel is now the synonymous with that. Exactly. It is. It is really. It's well done, actually. Well the, done. The leg. Look at the legs. Yeah. There's a sense of motion. Uh, they have the perspective right. They have yeah. the distance right. Sure. For anyone that's also watching that's never tried to draw or paint something like that, it's really hard. I mean, the legs and fingers and hands that you think, oh, that's really easy. That's the hard. Those are really hard to do. In my, for me, if I try to do something realistic, I have big trouble. It doesn't look realistic all of a sudden. It always, and like you said, sense of motion and all that kind of stuff. When you, if it, you think if it reached, if it reached out to you, when you, I asked you to pick out the the images that you were thinking about that, that caught your eye. And this caught your eye yeah. with the color scheme and, and, and the dramaticness and the location. Wh why? Why do you think this caught your eye? And then, then why did this catch wh – what would that – because, you know, well, people are walking around in Russia. Someone well, put this exactly. up in Russia well, it to said advertise Russia. Bitcoin. It said yeah, exactly. to advertise in Bitcoin, Silk Road, it's code. It's exactly. code. Someone's graffitiing up code in, in Russia because it's – Russia refuses to allow Bitcoin, right? So this is exactly. what happens. And it's graffiti. So it's in the open. Yeah. It's not a it's not an internet image. Yeah. Have you seen any graffiti in, in Germany about Bitcoin? No. Sticker. No, you haven't. I've seen stickers. Sticker right. bombing. Yeah. You haven't I've... seen any in the United States either. You haven't seen any in any country which hasn't banned it. Right. What does that say? Well that says that graffiti is a form of Expression when things are illegal, people you know use it to for, as a form of free speech. Okay, okay, that you that you can't what, stop graffiti. So so when you start seeing when you start seeing the Bitcoin graffiti, that that says something is going on. Definitely, <laughs> you're right. I agree. And 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 the, that this image caught your eye. It probably also caught thousands. Of other people's eyes. You're probably right. I mean, I don't know what street that's on. I'm sure we could Google Map it, but yeah, well, they're probably at the link because it says the link is a web page called Social Video Cam, and maybe they have some more info about it. Nobody has commented about it yet, but um, I think that's really interesting. So I'll put that link in the description. Um, another one I have is the Shrembot, which is a photo. The shrimp bot? That was your yeah. okay. <laughs> I just thought it's just a funny. It's good, isn't it? It's, it's so clever. I really like that. Okay, so for it's it's really you sad. Tell the story about why, what's going on in this picture? Because I don't know if no. all people, if someone is new to Bitcoin, they might not know what's going on here. No, and that that's that's why I made the site because I realized that if if someone wasn't collecting all of the important pictures then no one in the future like coming into Bitcoin would would know what what are the important pictures I see them I over totally and over agree. again where is a source to this you know we, we and my site's not obviously the greatest okay but someone can come along and do better than me that's fine I don't care whatever it's it's fine it's very usable it's easy to use but this this picture is I can't I'm not gonna talk about it. it's too sad it's it's too sad I Mm. You you talk about it because uh, this I I mean I, I added it to the art gallery because of how sad this is. Well, he wasn't allowed to travel. He was I don't know the, the problem is I don't remember the exact legal status, but I don't know if he was under a kind of home arrest or if he wasn't allowed to leave the state of New York. But Both. he wasn't he wasn't allowed to go to the to Chicago to this conference. Yeah, he he was the one who opened up negotiations. With, with with the government, right? And they use okay, it against well, him. Can we do it in a short way? Who he we is. can't. We can't. Let's let us let us move on. We can't. It's on, a sad so. picture. I it's mean, a sad so picture. And he couldn't. He couldn't. He's a, he's a hero, though. He's a hero, he's a he's a hero for what he tried to do. He's a hero exactly. for what he's doing right now. Let's exactly. salute the man. Salute. And, and and it's cool that he got to do this. If anyone who wants to know more, they can they can follow the link. Here's the link right here. To a Reddit post, and 
uh, yeah, I really, I really like that. And you know, if people are not allowed to attend things, maybe they can get their own robot. It's sad. It's not the, it's not the right way. But I think this was a real good way to. I think a lot of people had to pay attention then with this robot. They couldn't ignore the fact that the government said, "Hey, no, you can't go to Chicago." Oh, All right. Absolutely. Yeah. We're talking about sad stuff. Then we can go to the Black Swan. Here's a Black Swan graffiti. Yeah, the Black Swan. I really like it um, because it's simple. It's a well, we have to, stencil. We have to start. We have okay. to start. We have to start with the Swan. Okay, tell us about it. Well, Wikipedia. I mean, just look. Show everybody the Wikipedia. It's uh, awesome. I mean, the Black Swan is a theory. Uh, it was invented by a guy. He came up with a theory. Uh, he wrote a book, uh, and and lots of people think he's right. It's a pretty cool theory. I suggest everyone look it up. Um, you should you should look it up. Uh, Theo, yeah. do you know about you know about the black swan, right? Well, I'm not up to date. With, I don't know the whole theory. I have to admit, right on air. However, a black swan event is basically when everything goes wrong. You know when the well, and uh, wrong, is, wrong is subjective. Wrong is subjective. Okay, maybe not wrong, uh, not as planned or um, exactly not planned. It's not unforeseen. Planned. So exactly, and that's what happens when things are live, not live broadcasts necessarily. That too, but when a system is live. So we've got white papers and brown papers and yellow papers and um, theoretical discussions. And the thing goes live, and it, something else happens, and not uh, and not always what's expected. And that's what I think of when I think of the black swan. Sometimes. Okay. Okay. Um, you're you're closer to chaos theory than you are to the black swan. Okay. The black swan is is a narrower part of that. But isn't uh, the black swan something negative though? No. No, it's not. Um, so uh, that's that's totally why I suggested you, you check out the WikiLeaks because because the Bitcoin is a black swan event, mm -hmm. and the same way that 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 it and that's a tricky thing, what the black swan event is. The same way that Bitcoin solves the Byzantine general problem, and then you have to look up what Byzantine general problem well, I know is. That. Right. Okay. Um, so black swan event is when something on an event happens that alters society and it's unforeseen okay and it's dramatic ratifications and uh, everyone when they first see the event miscategorizes it misses understands it misunderstands the implications of it so a really good example would be the Gutenberg printing press is mm -hmm. a black swan that event its effect on the rest of humanity the course of history um, and how no one could have obviously foreseen that at the time up to its development and even after its development in the first stages of the mass distribution of information, right? Mm -hmm. it, it would have been an almost imperceptible change, but one which radically alters the course of all human history, right? right. That's a yeah. black swan event. Mm -hmm. So I think that that shows really what's going on is that people are using it in a negative connotation a lot. And I think that altered my uh, conception, you know, how I how I view it. Well, that's okay. because usually black swan events, when they affect a market, uh, affect a market negatively because it's usually something's appearing that is taking the place of something older in the marketplace. And so whoever was on that older system, the legacy system, loses out. So another black swan event would be the creation of the automobile. So everyone who was in horse and buggies, the Black Swan event was really, really bad for them, right? Sure. Well, every positive has a negative. Otherwise, right. it can't and be. that and that's really what's important about a Black Swan event is that that the that all it says is that during the Black Swan event, the positive and negatives are magnified exponentially. Okay, mm -hmm. rather than a normal event which would have a marginal you know, cost or benefit, right? Okay, great. All right, let's move over to The Last Supper. I'm going to zoom in. I really like that one, but I still haven't taken the time to interpret 
who each person is at the table. Um, for example, the guy with the bee mask on, or is it a space suit? The person in the middle. It's a radiation suit. I, I radiation like suit, okay. Yeah. Uh, we've got a QR code on the left side. I haven't tried to scan it. Maybe that's a hidden message. We've got. I hope, it, I hope it's the artist. Yeah, I hope so too. We've got a um, a B on the right side, of course. Uh, I think one of these guys in the at the Last Supper is an artist because there's a canvas behind. Um, I don't know if it's the. I think it's the guy in the gray, the person in the gray, because he's got kind of like a messy shirt on. So I guess that's the artist. I'm not sure. Uh, let's go all the way to the right side. There's a guy in some blue clothes, and he's got um, the four suits of cards on. So who do you think that guy represents? The guy on the far right side. Very far right. The gambler? The, that's gambler. the gambler. The gambler. I mean, at the table of, mm -hmm. of Bitcoin? Of course, the gambler's there at the beginning, right? Right. Yeah. And the guy sitting next to him has a fancy hat, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and the other guy next... No, the guy fan next to him, he's the artist. He's got the fancy hat. That's the artist, you think? Yeah, because the next guy to him, he has patches and stuff. He looks dirty and sick. He's kind of yellow-skinned. Yeah. Uh, I think he's like a hobo. Homeless guy, maybe, right? He's the poor. Okay. That could be. All right. Okay. The, and the guy behind him, that's obviously anonymous. Mm-hmm. With the little pirate music symbol on the chest. Mm hmm Also interesting is if you look at the person you identified as homeless, he's got bare feet. If you look under the table. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay. And then we've the got... Construction worker, what is that? Yeah, I that that the construction worker. I took that to be the everyman. Mhm. Mm I mean the the average Joe. Okay. And behind him is the 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 thief, right? Mhm. Mm yeah, of course. The, I mean, do, don't you don't when you when you think of construction worker, you think of, uh, you know, the the average guy working out in the well, street, yeah, like in a literal I sense. It, I know what you mean. It it symbolizes so-called real work. You know, yes. working with your hands. Yes. Doing your time, doing your forty hours, putting your time in, and earning. Blue your, collar. He's in blue. He has a collar. Yeah. Right. He's got the blue suit on. That's yeah. a typical working class, traditional working class, which doesn't is is slowly going away. Um, symbol. Yes. I, it's great. It's great to see it's included, and in that it's it's a, a picture. Like in the picture, he's he's pretty close, right? Yeah. To to I mean, we're, next one's Satoshi, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're we're not gonna argue that, right? No, I got that. Part. that part. I got that. I have people on Twitter who argue that with me. Well, who do they say it is? Oh, um. Well, look look. Can, click on it. Click on the go go to the link. I have all the links on this one. Mm -hmm. This is the... Oh, it's sold the, for $2,900. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Original. Um, is this where I should read about it? Project Bitcoin is my answer. And if you if you go back, actually, there's another link. This is the... Okay. I just I put all the links in here. No, that's cool. The... The okay, first, your design. The, keep, uh, dot keep going down. Keep going down though. First, ah. this is this is his. Uh, his. I mean, he 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 was really great. He included all of his That's concept great. work and his his build up, and he took. I really enjoy this because a lot of them, a lot of artists don't do this, and this helps me a lot connect to the piece because I can see what they worked on first, and I don't know why, but that gives me like a different relationship with it. Right here, right here. Go. This one is good, yeah. So yeah, look, he goes back. He's looking at the original reference material, right? Mm-hmm. And then he then he's he's come up with these ideas, and right here you you, you start seeing his ideas form about who should be at the table, right? Mm-hmm. So who's at this table, right? A lot of the same characters in the same positions. Yep. 
Anonymous has a different position. Look at Anonymous pose. It's a very different position. He's very suggestive of something right there. Hold on. Let me go back to the other one. Yeah. Okay, let me go back to this mock-up. It's similar, but yeah, he's suggesting something. And and now look at the blue collar. What What is the blue collar's body, body language saying? I think he's patting Satoshi on the back. Right, right. So this is a very different one. And here the thief is flipping off Satoshi. You see that? Yeah, okay. You go back up. So now look at his earlier material. Here he has it. Go back. So he has the thief flipping off, right? And here he, he looks like he's patting him on the back, but it wasn't as suggestive as it was on the other one, right? Mm -hmm. Because he moved everyone to be in a better traditional frame of reference. Yep. Let's go back to the original one. Yeah. Oh, well, look here. Look in the yes. very original. It has the same gestures. Oh, he's not flipping him off. That is the same gestures. Wow, he did a really good job. He's not job flipping there. his off. It's the pointer finger. Yeah. But that could be something similar, you know? Did, do, do the hands up. Yep, the same hands up. Good, good. Yep, as good in the good. very original Last Supper here. Mm -hmm. Same finger is up right there, too. I still think he's flipping him off. I don't know why I think that, but... Okay, I kind of like this black and white one better. Wow, this is great. He's showing the real work here. It's crazy. Nice. Okay, so now we've got the other side. So we've got mm -hmm. some real close-up detail. So after, on the other side starts um, the guy with the orange T-shirt. And here we've got a nice close-up. And it looks and this, like they are eating this bread. Is, this, is, this, is, uh, this is really great, the, the level of detail here. If we actually go to his DVR page, he gives each of these pieces individually in and, and way higher resolution than I was able to post here. Mm-hmm. So who do you think this is, this orange guy? Well, that's a hard one, isn't it? Because what what is the symbol on the shirt? He's wearing orange, the symbol on the shirt. It's got to be the symbol on the shirt. That is in the original picture. Everyone thinks that is the controversial female character, right? That's supposed to be... Um, what's her name? Did you read the Da Vinci Code? No, I didn't, unfortunately. Oh. Whoa, and this one, it's a different order. Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, here, here, is, uh, here it looks more like a female, or at least the hair does. I don't know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this one, it does, definitely. But in this one, I really like that it, the, on the back of the computer, instead of an apple, it's a pear. <laughs> Did you notice that? Look I here. Did. Yeah. Yes, that's good. The um, the bee's wrong. The bee's different. The bee's not the orange bee. This one on his shirt, you mean? No, the one on Satoshi. Here. Yeah. The silver bee. Yeah. It's like a light coin bee. Yeah. And what is he made out of? Satoshi. Yeah. Well, and I think when the in the mock-up he was made of numbers. In this one, it kind of looks like he's made up of bytes or pixels. Um, Something more primitive than numbers. Primal in the in the computer, he's he's actually made up of bits, right? You said. Yeah. Well, right? ones and zeros is bit. It's that's also numbers. Yeah, but but that previous thing looked more like the a matrix type Satoshi he would have come out as. Okay, let's go let's go back to that one. The artist changed his mind about what Satoshi should be made right, out of. Yeah. Before he has a, a matrix idea, right? And he changes his idea to a more like physical looking textured Satoshi, right? Like mm -hmm. he 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 changes in the creation of this whole thing which is about Satoshi. He changes his mind about what Satoshi actually should be made of. Halfway through the work. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big change, isn't it? That's a pretty big change, yeah. But that happens when you get into the flow, you know. 
I think it was a good idea to do that. Yeah, I like this one better too. This the is it, I, bites and X's and L's and and I think there's some letters in there. Right. Characters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got here a guy with a black top hat. I guess that's some kind of investor. And I'm not 100% sure. He's got a wallet with a B in his hand. So maybe that's an angel investor. I'm not sure. Leather and, wallet. Leather wallet with a B on it. And he's about to eat some – he's reaching for the bread. Yes. Which absolutely. was in the original one the body of Christ representing. So I'm not sure if this is the body of Bitcoin. Oh, and, and I would I – would, and if you, if you zoom out, I, I believe no one else is yet reaching for any on the table. Let's check that. I think you're right. Um, hold on, let me zoom back up, go back up. Well, at least in the mock-up, he's the only one. Nobody else is even concerned about the bread. Yeah. No one else is concerned about the bread. But the rich guy with the wallet, he's already got his wallet out. Yep. Right? He already has his wallet out. And and what, what you, you're on the market. Talk, tell me about how you feel about being on the market. Is this guy at the table with you? That guy at my table? Yes. W what do you mean? You're When you're on an exchange, you're at the table. No. Well, well it's not at my table. Nobody – I mean we're all trading against each other basically. Right, but, but this is – I mean – I'm talking about, but but we're trading against each other, but we're all at the the table with each other on the Bitcoin. Okay, yeah, we're all at the same table. Just, right, we're all at the same table. You know, rich guy that's eating all the bread. Is he at the exchange? Maybe. Right. Yes. Yes. The answer is very yes. likely. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And and maximum profits. Right. Take the okay, bread so first. He's, he's taking. Like he's taking it first. He's taking the profits first. Right. Okay, so this guy is, you know, manipulating things with because he has a big wallet and then taking the bread. Because mm -hmm. nobody's paying attention to him taking the bread either. They're not really. It is, a, it is a big wallet. It is a big wallet. So it's no mistake. All right. Well, still, I'm not sure who the guy in the orange T-shirt is. Who do you think the guy with the white hair is talking to him? My guess is the guy in the orange T-shirt. Is a criminal is a criminal like like Ross Ulrich, and and the guy next to him is the lawyer. Ah, that's my guess. I I can't. The the, the glasses would seem pretty recognizable, especially with some of the facial features. So he might have been really specific when he made those. But that that's my interpretation of it, and that's like my best guess. Mm -hmm. But the lawyer, look at the lawyer's arm, in this, and how that winds up being. Mm-hmm. And someone has it. Someone has got his elbow. Yeah. Who is that? Let's see. Ah, that's the guy in the um, in the uh, radiation suit. Or it's a beekeeping suit. Or it's a beekeeping. Be bees. Well, I don't know. What I'm trying to figure out what this stuff flying around him is. That's why I thought Bee. it was a beekeeping suit. You know. Right. That's what I thought now too. But it looks like a radiation suit to me, or a chemo, or a chem suit. Or a space suit? I don't know what it is. You'd use a toxic spill or something? Maybe. And uh, this lady right here, what does she have down? Oh, sorry, I'm flipping around too much. What does she have on the table in front of her? I'm trying to figure that out. Because everyone else has bread. And then here, she's got a glass of water that's empty, or a glass that's empty. The that's other okay. glasses are full on the other side of the table. Ah. But the silver coins, or I don't know what that is, are right here too. Seems, uh, since nothing else is on the table, uh, except for, if move, if you, you notice there's something black, right? What's this on the table here? Let's, we can look in on that. On the far right, next, uh, the, the step over. Here? Far right, where the gambler no, is? No, on a, you have to go to a different picture for the one okay. I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You need just the left side, if you could focus on the left side somewhere. Go to his original picture. Yeah, I'm going to the go, original. Go, go with the deviant. Okay, here we are at the original. Yeah. 
and then click on it. Ah, here we can zoom in good. Okay, so what were you saying? On Keep the, going. Go to the right? Right, so here, yeah, see, all right, that's what I was talking about. His arm, right, go back. It was his arm that I was talking about. He's here. leaning, he's really leaning into the table. You notice that? The lawyer. No, the rich guy. Yeah, he is really leaning, very much. Yeah. He's leaning on the table. I didn't notice that until I just noticed that how far out those um, metal things are, whatever they are. Yeah, right here. Yeah, that, I'm I didn't realize how far out he's leaning over the table. But he's really leaning over that table. He's the only one leaning really hard on the table. Yeah. I mean, this guy is using it for support, but besides that... Um, and it looks like he's the only one sitting down. Or maybe Satoshi's sitting down. I'm not sure. Okay, we've got three more people. I'm not sure who this lady is, and I don't know who this... Is this last guy a scientist, or what? I'm not sure. What do you think? I I don't know. I, I've looked at it a couple times. I thought about bidding on it, and then by the time I had prepared my, my comfort zone for what my bid would be, it was already double it. And I was like, well, I'll be walking away. <laughs> uh, but that, while I was staring at it, I was wondering who are these people that I would be buying their faces for, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I could not... I, I, I looked, I tried to look through all the profile pictures of, of who it might be. It's certainly an older person to older people. That's true. Uh, they are differently dressed, maybe a doctor. Or scientist, as you said, that could be a lab coat, a white coat. Yeah, that's what I think. The woman has also old style clothing. You know. Yes, yes, and the silver coins. Those are silver. Okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is. Let's take this literally. Silver, silver, right? Older person with silver. W what would that say to you? At the table about Bitcoin. If you saw an older person who had a bunch of silver talking to you about Bitcoin. Well, it depends. I mean, there's some people that have silver and gold that talk about Bitcoin totally get it. And some of them are abhorrently against it because they say it's not physical and you have to be – has to be backed with physical metal and all that kind of stuff. So there's basically two main camps in the silver and gold bug. Uh, camp, in my opinion, as far as Bitcoin is concerned. So then I would say that this this is who that is. Mm -hmm. Th that whichever minority of, of the Bitcoin users, or majority, for all I know, um, of the Bitcoin users that is, that, that would be this person. Is the older user who's using commodity goods as, as their medium of exchange, right? Yeah, but they're at the table, so they don't reject Bitcoin. They just oh, look at her hands, though. Yeah, you're right. Look at her face. Yep. Could be. So instead of Bitcoin, she brought silver. She she brought silver to a Bitcoin party. There's people like that. Sure. Well, I'm definitely not against gold and silver. I think people should diversify. I think it's really dangerous if we get too bogged down in one thing, but. We also shouldn't be too dogmatic one way or the other. Well, okay, but there, there's an older person right over there who, who's who got his hands on the table. He's leaning forward. He's interested. Yeah, he's interested. That's true. Maybe that's what that represents. Maybe that's the two camps that I was there's, talking about. There's two pieces of silver. That's true. Is this a gold guy? Maybe this guy in the suit is the gold bug. Bugs. Yeah, gold bug. Gold bugs. That would explain it. There we go. We're geniuses. These are the silver and gold bugs. They have kind of like silver clothes on a little bit. Kind of gray, white, you know? It didn't fit until you said the word gold bug, right? Right. See, we're really, we're, we're, and we know how to interpret stuff now. Geniuses. I, to me, that makes sense, but who knows? I mean, because I can't figure out what other kind of suit this could be. It doesn't, 
Fit. Doesn't that the gold the gold bug is reaching out grabbing the lawyer? I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Though, what is he saying? Is this a more conservative side of the table, and this is a more liberal side of the table? Yeah, because look, um, way over here, and then it goes more to the moderation as soon as you get to the working man and the thief. You know, and who's the thief stealing from? Most of the time, the working man. Don't you think? Well, yeah, the the working man is, uh, as we can clearly see from like the high end smartphone adoption, the working man is 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 happy to advance liberally, right? When when it suits his needs. Right? Sure, sure. That the working man will be the first one who really adopts Bitcoin in the mass, right? Because it will it'll be serving them. or working women. Let's not let's not be sexist here. No, I don't mean working man as in men. I mean um, man. Oh, I didn't. I didn't presume you. You. Yeah, yeah. You were using Just for everyone that's wondering, I don't mean sure. that. I mean in the sense of uh, humans or be or however you want to call us. You do have viewers though in in Pakistan and other parts of the, the sure. kind of world who who would totally have a problem and misinterpret what we be saying. Yeah. So I'm when I say man, I'm, when I said you're working man. I meant uh, blue-collar workers of all orientations. Do you, do you know I get 500 hits a month from China? Wow, it's really interesting. I, I, they never say anything. They never comment on anything. Mm -hmm. they, I just get this insane amount of, for a while, like the majority. Okay, and uh, you should. Well, no, it is. No one is. Think. Have you comment? You haven't commented once. Okay, yeah, I didn't comment on your site. It's no right. one does. No, no one does. No one does. I retweeted you a lot. Yeah, no. Roger Veer didn't comment. He he looked at a whole bunch of it. He didn't he didn't comment. Well, if I'm at an art gallery and it's full of paintings or a museum, I might not comment either. Nobody says anything. No, just quiet. No, actually, if they like it, they don't say anything. Yeah, that's the thing. A lot of the a lot of art is not interactive or or. You don't get an immediate reaction like that. All right. Well, I, I've had some controversial ones that I, I maybe shouldn't have posted, and people have commented on that I took down that had, you know, material that 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 could be seen in the wrong light. Okay. Right. We can talk um, about that. Well, here's one that I don't think people. That's not very controversial. Uh, Bitcoin accepted here as a needle point. I don't oh, know. No, new one. Okay. It's no. pretty new. It has two new. flowers. Yellow no, flowers. No, someone just just had that made. Yeah, this is um, it it deserves more upvotes than that. I think it's a good piece. Yeah, I mean they did a they they needle pointed a QR code. It's great. It's cute. It's what I want my grandma to make me. Exactly. And see, with these kind of things, people, more people will get it. No, wait. This is what I want to give my grandma to get it. Right. Right. Exactly. If so someone I think, made this as a pillow, like mm -hmm. a cute pillow, I would buy that to give to my grandmother <laughs> with some bitcoins on it. Right. So I think we need more objects and more physical things to bridge the gap between the physical world and the internet world like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so they're, they're coming. It'll come. We're, we're so early. We're so small still. I don't know... Okay, wait. Let me see. Let me talk about. Well, here's a kind of. We, if you take. There's so the, many. I'm just going through right now. You know, scrolling down. There's a lot of real interesting ones. If you if you take the metric of the 600,000 people who looked at the wiki over the last 90 days, right? Okay, so be, tell us that you shared. I don't have that ready, but uh -huh. you. I can try to. I could try to find it, but I'd have to. It might be a little tricky, but no, it's 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 fine. Um, Just tell us about that. Well, that it's a it's a good metric, I think, for for how many people are actually interested in taking a look, right? Because that shows how interested is a person to look it up on Wikipedia independently, right? Right. So basically, in the you sh you shared with me on Twitter a a nice graphic, and it shows how many people look up. So you can find the information how many people are visiting. What wiki page, what Wikipedia page is is public information. They have a kind of API or something, and somebody made some graphics. And on a typical, 
day, I think there were probably like 50 or 100 or I don't know how many visits, can, but it went up to, by like 500%, didn't it? You can get to the chart your, yourself by just Googling um, Bitcoin wiki stats. There's a website that just looks up the wiki stats and sources of the wiki stats for every site, every single page they have. Okay, so here we are. We've got the statistics for Wikipedia article traffic statistics for Bitcoin. And, uh, yeah, we saw a really large spike. And I don't know of a major news event around that time. Do you? It says uh, 23rd of November. It blasted up to over 60,000. I don't know why, but it did. Any first ideas? Have to, first, you have to... I. I've been watching this for a while. It's it spiked before. Um, they they don't have the metrics from periods before. Uh, this is a good one to have bookmarked, though. Um, yeah. So usually this spikes when there's a mainstream media story, something like on CNN or something. Even even just a CNN front page um, link because someone subscribed to the technology feed. Well, and they got a kicker article about why is Bitcoin's price falling and they had no idea and they clicked on it, right? Mm -hmm. um, that is a, a drive of tens to 20 to 30,000 people, right? And you'll see that influx on Wikipedia, people then Googling it, then following through on the Wikilink, right? Mm -hmm. And that shows up in Google Trends. So go to Google Trends at the same time you're looking at this site and look at the Google Trend for just the search word for Bitcoin over that same period. Okay, so we've got on the Google Trends right here, we've got Bitcoin in blue over the last 90 days. This has nothing to do with art. It's, I'm sorry, we wandered off. It doesn't off matter. Topic. It's okay. Well, yeah, it does. These are nice colored lines. Oh. There are actually, there's some pieces of art where people have redone the graphs yeah. because they saw symbols in the graphs and they decided it's to make not a, letting a me picture. In. You know what? Around that time, the guy in Netherlands put the wallet in his hand. You Which know what I mean? Wound up in the Gizmodo, TechCrunch, um, all the major. Here we go. Also, um, Reuters, Bank of Canada, Bitcoin needs watching, but no threat now. That might that was also around the same time as we're seeing all these big bumps. It could be something to do, have something to do with it. Can you go to your time ranges? Yeah, I've got 90 days, and that's the same one I had the other one, but I can go to like, you know, two week, uh, 30 days or seven days. The event was less than 30 days ago, so we could yeah, we go back to 30, 30 days day. then. Yeah. Be more exactly. Actually, that, there we go. Now You're go exactly. to the 30 day here. 23rd, and I'm at the 30 day, and I don't see a big jump. Yeah. The blue go line. To, right, exactly. Now go back to the 30 day. That's why I'm, go, I'm going yeah. to tell you it's well, not what you expect. Yeah, it's not what I expected because on, on right. Sunday, November 23rd, um, there wasn't a big spike in the Google searches. Right, yes. So so when you go back to the other graph, switch it to the 30-day. Yeah, so yeah. now you can see the event in more specific terms to as what was going on in the daily. People obviously did not get to the wiki article through a Google search. And since Google is the number one source for all Wikipedia article references... Mm -hmm. You have to really wonder where that wiki particle article was linked to that made 60,000 people be driven to it, because it has to be just probably one or two articles. Probably it's like one. you said, probably a big, a major news site or something. But, no, but none of them link to Wikipedia articles. They ban it. They don't. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm really sure about that. They don't link to Wikipedia? None of the major news sources will. They won't do it because it's a com competitor? Well, uh, for information, sure, but but in in a in a broader sense, none of them link to the correct original sources for a lot of their information. Mm -hmm. Just on principle that they're news conglomerates and they want to keep you inside their own system, so they never link you outside, even when they cite sources that are outside of their system. Maybe it was ZNDNet or whatever it's called. This guy that's like a big yeah. No, he he wouldn't he wouldn't cite something correctly. You know, okay. if he the end of the world was coming. He might have linked to Wikipedia though, but I'm not no. sure. He's he incapable. Did. He's incapable. I've I've interacted with the guy. Uh, in person? No, no, on Twitter. 
well, I, I have no problem with anyone who who wants to disagree with us because that will Me lead either. to the that will lead to better innovation. Mm -hmm. So anyone who comes up with a reason that it doesn't work is someone we need to listen to very carefully. But I read everything he wrote. Okay, his he, like you could just click on his name, right? Everything he wrote. Okay, citation is not one of his specialties. Okay, let's get back to the BTC art gallery. Yeah, absolutely. Here, Let's get back to the, the good stuff. Yeah, except Bitcoin in downtown Asheville. So that's pretty cool. Well, I grew up in North Carolina, but not near Asheville. This is the only Bitcoin acceptance picture I've put on in, in almost a year. Why is that? Oh, well, because this is the only one I thought that was any good. Okay. I mean, this is a good this is a good picture. It's hidden over here, but you can see that he accepts Bitcoin. Have you, uh, we're, you're on Reddit. We're all on Reddit, right? Let's let's yeah, talk sure. about the pictures. You see the pictures. We know about the Bitcoin acceptance pictures. Some guy in some town, his pizza place starts accepting Bitcoin, and the guy who helped him do that takes a picture with him, and they're standing around, and we all give it five, six hundred upvotes, right? True. Okay. It, it's just standard. It's it happens like constantly now because the adoption rate's super high with merchants. It's faster with merchants than it is with consumers. Yep. So exactly. we have a ton of these pictures, right? And most of them, you know, aren't 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 worth our time. Frankly, I mean, I have to say, like, it's great that they did that. But I know it was. I, I agree. Of people, most of those merchants are selling; they're not holding. Most of the merchants, yeah, you're right. Yeah, most of the merchants. And there's no. I mean, you could you could there. I think there is a. A project, but I forgot what it's called. But I mean, you can, as a merchant, take a pledge and say that you're not going to sell all of your Bitcoin and convert it immediately. But I don't. But it's only on a trust basis because there's really no way to really prove it unless you. It is provable. Yeah, no, it is provable. Mage. The guys from Overstock set that up, and they're working with. Uh, they have set up their own team, and they're working on a way to prove, uh, with a startup, to uh, prove how much a company is holding it is provable. in reserve. Yes, it is provable. Because, I mean, it's all public transactions, so all you need to do is specify, mark yeah. a, a particular yeah. set of transactions I for don't the want... user, right? Yeah, but I, what if I don't want to give out the transactions that my customers paid to me? You see what I mean? Then the, they, that's they the can problem do, I have. They can do internal coin shuffling so that you only know how many total okay. coins they have and how they split sure. it. Once they have them, they don't need no, to I say... Yeah, so basically you just do your own coin join or your own mixing, and then you protect the customers enough so that you can prove that you're uh, the Bitcoin or spending the Bitcoin on more supplies for your business, etc. Yes, yes. So go down, get the picture back in center frame, please. Sorry, sorry, I don't mean to be okay. sounding. I just, it's really good because out of all the acceptance pictures, I think this guy, that guy, that guy's holding. <laughs> His Bitcoin, because when I see that picture, that's a merchant who I see is holding Bitcoin because he has nothing to lose by accepting Bitcoin. Right. I he agree. He is, he is on the ground in the cold, every day selling coffee. You know, making nothing. Okay, making nothing. So he's looking for a better world, rather than a a, a fraction of his credit card, to be you know, not. Go, fraction of his credit card payments not to be going to Visa, right, for processing fees, right? Mm -hmm. Because anyone who's selling coffee in that kind of weather, in that environment, in that neighborhood, with such a low acceptance rate as what we have right now, adoption rate, how many total customers does that person have per day that use Bitcoin? Probably not very many. Do you have where? What are your local places like right now? Because I this is Our, my local guy, the, my guy. There's only one town. place. In my, well, there's two places in my town. One time, I think my bandwidth is messing up again. No, it, it's fine. Okay. This is this is good conversation um, because because this guy yeah, is sure. metaphorically no, uh, all one of place our guys. The one... This guy, this is my guy. My there's only one business in my hometown that takes Bitcoin, and they get all my Bitcoin, and I'm happy to shop there. It's my local comic book store. And I become a huge mm -hmm. comic fan, just because, you know, I gotta spend these Bitcoin, okay? Um, so I've I've reawakened my old passion 
in, in my nerd stuff here. And it's great because he's the only other guy and he's looking for a better world. And it's me and one other guy who used Bitcoin at his store, okay? Yep. And that's that that's the whole market base for my entire town, and we're the most progressive in the in the county. Okay, Dustin, you asked me what do I think of the art that the Bitcoin community is creating. Well, I never really thought about it that way, to be honest. I just you know, I followed your tweets, I've been to your webpage. No, I have not commented on any of the art, but we talked about how a lot of people don't comment on things they like. I'm actually surprised how much there is out there, and yeah, I mean, I think it's great that it's out there, and I think it's really important. That's why I'm doing this show, and I think it's important because sometimes it's overlooked, that there's more use it. Not only using Bitcoin for art, which is also possible, but that, like I was saying earlier, that there's more than one aspect to all this. There's not just fintech and trading and the next crowd sale and the things that people usually concentrate on or the price. There's also how everyday people are going to use it. And how do you explain to every so-called everyday people how they can benefit from Bitcoin and how they can use it? Well, a lot of times you need art because art is a part of a story. And a lot of times the reason people like art is because they, they relate to it because the art is true. It's not lying. It's really difficult – well, not difficult to lie when you're doing art necessarily, but – when it's not genuine, and it goes for music too, when it's not genuine, then usually people don't really dig it. Do you agree, Dustin, or you have a different viewpoint? You you were just reminding me the whole time you were talking about what um, uh, Marjorie said, uh, coin artist on Twitter. Uh -huh. uh, she did some shows about a year ago um, about Bitcoin art and and interviewed some people and she was asking that same question. She was saying, asking the, the culture building question, right? This is a question about building culture. Right. Is it? Well, I don't look, I don't wake up in the morning and go, okay, I had my coffee. Now I'm going to go build culture. That's, that's the wrong way to do it. And I think that's the totally wrong way to do it with the so-called um, mass um, adoption and all this stuff. I don't. I don't think it's good. Wake up in the morning. Oh yeah, now I'm gonna try to see how many uh, mass adoption. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's go. No, you need to do it. Don't try so hard. You just are. Live today, and then it just happens. That's it. That's it. It sounds a little bit easy or short but there's not much else to it it's great to hear that that, that that's what you think when you're looking at this picture I this love picture, this picture this, this is, is one really of my funny ones I've sent this I've sent this around and I even I sent this to my parents and they laughed at it yeah and why and that's what a lot of people say oh you make a lot of jokes why are you making so many jokes you're making too many jokes or, or whatever and I say that's true sometimes I believe you, but why is comedy funny? Because it's true. That's why yes. it's funny. Yes. We That's laugh it. when something makes us uncomfortable. Also, and this is so true, this picture right here. I, I love this one. And there's – whoever thought of this one, what my friends do, what my mom thinks I do, that whole system. I like, I like most of these ones that I see I like because most of them are really true. And this one is very true. They're memes. The yeah. word meme was invented by uh, Richard Dawkins. So, well, this particular meme is great. And the structure of this one, because you could change the pictures out a little bit, and it would definitely apply to a lot of different things. Yeah, and this hits all stereotypes in one picture. It's great. I really like what society thinks I do, and they're play with play money. That's great. <laughs> that's they great. do. They they I really love that one. I love I, it. when you encounter the trolls on Twitter. That's what they think. 
Exactly. And I like this one too, what my mom thinks I do. I like, so what is this stuff? Well, it's internet, you know, internet money or whatever. And it's just like, that's the picture they see, just all of these numbers, you know, like a screen like that. They have no idea. Yeah, they, they think we're doing, or they think we're in the matrix. Right, yeah. And they think, you're a genius. You use Bitcoin. You must, my son is a genius. He uses Bitcoin, right. you right. know. Right, because they think it's really difficult. Right, right, exactly, right, exactly. So all of these are really true, and that's great. Yeah, they, when, when, when it's done well, you can see that because it, it hits all the right marks. Because a lot of the memes, it's hard to make a good meme. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to another topic. There's a lot. See, when you, when you look at all this stuff, there's just so much because it's the history of uh, Bitcoin right here. It is a lot, yeah. And it's all the different there, issues. There, you have a lot of. Do I'm finding Doge over and over again in in the pictures. It's true. That, that's because this is what the community created, and and the best pieces sometimes were Dogecoin pieces. The most interesting pieces sometimes were Dogecoin pieces. Okay, this is crazy. This one, Battlefield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is intense. He has a great deviant art. He's a good artist. I, I, I enjoy what else he's doing. I'm trying doing. to figure out what's going on here. Okay, so uh, so that's like the dollar empire or emperor. Oh, you're, you're not familiar with the Battle of Thermopylae? The, the movie 300. No, I missed that. You missed the movie 300, all right. 300? Yeah. Is that is that Sparta? Yes. No, I know that. All right, that, that's so this. this. Is, this is um, the uh, Ottoman guy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was 300 or 500. Anyway. <laughs> click, give it a click and, and give it a, the, the close-up. Hold on. Graphic. It, 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 you can even get this in, in very super high resolution. Yeah, but he's alone. The guy yes. with the B. Well, there was, only, there was only like 300 guys, right? Yeah. But I really liked how, um, yeah, but one phalanx, or I'm not sure if they called them phalanx in um, Sparta. Uh, I think it's called a hole pit or phalanx. Uh, yes. Can, yeah, phalanx is actually, that's Macedonian. But yeah, that's, that's what I meant. Thing. I knew, I, could, I didn't know the Spartan word, but you know what I mean. Shield uh, wall. Shield wall, exactly. Yeah, but that's it, the famous image. That's the famous Bitcoin hold image. That we all know so well. Right, exactly, and I think that's interesting. So yeah, I think this is a really epic picture here, and you just put the dollar symbols up there. And I guess, but who are these people, right here? Well, I because think that, I think that's I think we know who they are. They're they're everybody who who's who's still tied to the other system, those chains. Yeah, but that's the thing is that. We all we we haven't broke the chains yet. You see. No, no, and those are gold chains too. Oh, that is crazy. It's all gold, right? Well, that's kind of like going into some Wizard of Oz stuff. Okay. Hmm. He's good. He he does some other stuff too. I I encourage you to look. Oh, so he up made later. those gold on purpose, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about that. That's crazy. He's also on Twitter. I encourage you to, to follow all these guys that you're enjoying. Because you probably enjoy the other stuff, too. Ah, who's that guy? Yeah, hey. Hey, look <laughs> at you. No, go back. Go back. I put this in here. I know. I, I, I put this in here, and it wasn't a joke. I didn't, I didn't, I don't know or care who you are when I put this in here. I put this in here because it was a good picture. Well, I posed for it, so, yeah. Well, right, but but you posed with, what were you, what were you trying to communicate? <laughs> right, I'm 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 an art gallery I'm here. I'm, really... I'm asking you. Okay, what am I trying to communicate? Yeah, I'm, I'm a famous photographer that. agent guy, and I'm saying, you know, I'm setting you up as a model, right? And I'm like, I want you to communicate something to me. Hit it right at the. Well, actually, you know what? I'm that's my blue steel. Have you seen Zoolander? Oh God, you know what? I haven't. No. Okay, so no. I'll get it. I'll, I'll I'll get it up on. I know I know the money's in the computer. 
yeah, well, Zoolander isn't really about money, but it's about models. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. This is one of my model looks. I'm not exactly have. A, I don't really have a model build. But, oh, okay. No, I'm I'm familiar with the Zoolander. So, so it's like it's, but it's these faces. It's a certain face that you can make. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Someone was at. This is at a um, at a maker fair at the really early in the morning. We're, we just set everything up, and actually we had a Bitcoin ATM there, and I was doing a Bitcoin stand. I just talked to people about Bitcoin the whole day, and I had paper wallets, and I was giving them out and explaining to people how they work and all that kind of stuff. And someone was taking pictures, and I just started posing, and I, you know, I just started. I, I wasn't really thinking about it. I just thought oh, I'm going to look really. I'm going to do you know my model pose like Zoolander or something like that. And it just – that's just what happened. And my grandfather was a photographer, so I posed for a lot of pictures when we were kids, when I was a kid. So I don't know if that – I think that helps too because you have to kind of be – I don't know. I just have an idea. I even – I'm the one being photographed, but I have an idea already how it's going to look. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, it, yes. Because I know, even though I I don't consider myself a photographer, because I do take pictures, but I didn't take this one. I already have an idea what what sometimes what they're asking. I know what they need if if someone's taking a picture, so I can kind of get the picture I want if I give someone else the camera. I okay. just well, yeah. well, this this picture you know winds up on Reddit, right? So and you're in the back of your mind, your subconscious is telling you that. About Reddit? Oh, I didn't think about that. No, no it, it, your subconscious is though. Your subconscious is thinking that when your picture is taken now in in this modern age, it, it goes out to the entire world. Sure. Yeah. Sure. But when you when you pose, you pose arbitrarily for like the entire world. That is correct. You're right. That's correct. I knew so, someone would see it eventually. So you're spreading your 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 little paper wallets here. As yeah. a stack, as a as a fat stack of money, right? Yep. Because you're, pa- yep. you're you're doing a parody. Exactly, it's a parody. Let me and, get Zoolander to do to do a comparison here. Hold on. Uh well, it's not really a good one. Good. I... <laughs> a lot of Bitcoin art is parody. Most it's of a it. A big time parody. Satire too. Satire. I'm into all of that. This is uh, Zoolander, Blue Steel. I don't really look exactly like that, but you get an idea. Okay, and if you haven't seen Zoolander, I, I hope everybody watches it. I think there's also another look called Magnum, but I'm not sure. Let's figure out. Oh, here we go. Here's Magnum is with this little different. But you can see, look at all his different looks. You see? Yeah. So I, I didn't want to do the duck lips. I get. I, I think that's really annoying. So more like this one or... I don't know, kind of serious one. I hear someone doing a pose too. <laughs> I'm going to have to look this up on on Amazon now. Yeah, it's so funny. It's it's pretty rough. I've seen the but, memes, so. But I anyway, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. I that's was thinking, exactly okay, I'm, gonna do, thinking. I'm gonna grab these and I'm gonna look like a real. And I'm also kind of playing the stereotype because kind of like how no, that's 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 what this picture is. That's why it's yeah, here exactly. because there's a, and there's that a stereotype that exists. Because all the people, a lot of people at that event and people that are my friends that are not into Bitcoin but are like, oh, it's Theo again. He's talking about Bitcoin. Oh, he's gonna be at the maker of the Bitcoin. He's always talking about Bitcoin. They think that it's all about what that picture that you just saw. You know, they think that it's all about oh, he's going to make money and it's, you know, it's some like trader or something like that, you know. And so I just thought, well, okay, what the hell I'm going to make a funny post picture that looks exactly like that. That's communicated in the picture. Yeah. That's what's great about this is because that's why I tried to include it is because pictures like that where the the message is in the picture and and it's clear that's that's what you want exactly this but, is actually the second version of the art gallery the first one was a, a, a much more like i haven't done much as you can see um i've tried to keep it based don't and downplay it there's uh, a lot of stuff here so this is out of order this is not necessarily as the pictures actually appeared i was catching up for the first year 
Mm-hmm. I'm doing. I'm live now, but I was catching up for quite a while. There was a lot of stuff to cover. Okay, Dustin, thanks a lot for talking to us today. If we want to find out more about um, Bitcoin Art Gallery, how do we do it? Oh, you can just visit me at BitcoinArtGallery.com or um, BTC Art Gallery at Twitter. Okay. And I think I can go to – is it BTCArtGallery.com or is it BitcoinArtGallery.com? Actually, both bring me up. Great. Perfect. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.